Dear friends, today we are going to discuss about routine control. Routine control is the one of the important service in UDS. So in this session we are going to discuss about what is start routine, what is stop routine and uh, triple request routine result and uh, this is what we are going to discuss. Routine control service ID is 31. Routine control can be used to perform some action in sequence. In application layer there are lot of functions written for activated test. To activate that function, the start and stop routines can be used. And also, a set of values can be written and read from EC memory, the routine control can be used. So overall, the routine can control can be used for erasing memory and also testing routines. Um, here we go some simple block diagram. So first one is the tester or client and this is our dynastic communication ma manager and module 1, module 2, module 1. These are uh, we can uh, consider as uh, attached to a test. So tester or client, um, they request a start routine to perform some action. So DSIM what we will do? So DSIM uh, validate uh, some preconditions and also some uh, some sessions and it will start the start routine. It will activate the, the flag corresponding flag either it is a flag 1 or flag 2 or flag n. Then once the routine is uh, started then it will send to the uh, positive response to the back to the tester. The same for stop routine. Suppose test tester want to stop that particular uh, routines, then tester will uh, request stop routine, then DCM validate and stop that uh, particular uh, action, and it will uh, send the response to the tester. And third one is for tribular request result routine. Suppose um, if you want to know the status of the routines. So when tester request this particular uh, routine uh, subfunction 3 then, TA, then DCM and uh, request that module and uh, it will it will send the response of the triple R. So this will we will see in the next slide. Here you can see the subfunction of the routine control 31. So mainly we have three subfunction in routine control. Uh, one is uh, start routine the subfunction is 0 1 and another one is stop routine 0 2 and third one is tribular request routine result that is 0 3 followed by we have 2 byte uh, routine identifier uh, this RID routine identifier uh, mostly is the customer specified or sometimes it's a supplier specified so it depends on uh, OM to OEM and supplier to supplier and here you can see the precondition and uh, this um, precondition very generic is a common precondition for uh, most of the OEM and uh, one is the uh, engine should not run engine speed and vehicle should not move and immobilizer should be unlocked and uh, and also some addition uh, specific condition might be there for OEM to OEM supply to supply it's it's very and for each routine and uh, each routine we have each routine uh, we have some precondition that would be change and the pre and uh, the routine should be work in extended dynamic session or some customer specific uh, dynamic session um, start routine sub function is 0 1 if you want to perform or testing some particular action then start routine can be used so when uh, you i mean tester uh, request to start routine uh, dcm validate some precondition like i said before it will validate engine speed vehicle speed and also um, uh, immobilizer and some uh, OEM specific routines uh, these things specified and the routine control should be uh, executed under external dynamic session and also uh, OEM specified uh, dynamic session so like this some preconditions uh, should be validated and after that the particular uh, routines will be initiated by the DCM then once the DCM is initiated the, initiated the particular function then it will send the positive response to the uh, tester here you can see the request and uh, client is you I mean a tester and um, server is ECU uh, 31 is uh, routine control uh, SID and 01 start and this 2 byte is nothing but RID routine identifier this is specific to the OEM or sometimes specific to the uh, supplier so when we request the 31 01 and, and the 2 byte uh, RID then DSIM validate the preconditions and it will uh, perform the uh, actions so once the action is performed and it will send the positive response if, if everything is fine if, if routine is running then 
client the server will send a response to the um, client here you can see the 71 which is the positive response then 01 is uh, start routine and followed by 2 by this rid and G, this uh, this is uh, uh, specific to the uh, um, OEM and supplier say for example 01 or 02 and 03 and 04 and so on here we can say 01 is uh, routine is running and 02 is routine is finished successfully and 03 is yes routine is finished but it has some error uh, we can say not okay and 04 is routine is stopped due to the some some other external environment or something else the routine may be some uh, may be uh, aborted so this is a specific uh, and suppose suppose if there is any uh, problem then uh, ECU I mean server will send the negative response to the uh, tester so here you can see the SVSL 7F and uh, uh, this is SID 31 and 01 is routine control this is specific uh, this is the start routine and uh, stop routine um, sub function is 0 to if tester or you uh, want to stop that particular routine and then this uh, sub function can be used and uh, here you can see the request and the client request the stop routine and uh, followed by the 2 byte RID uh, then DCM as I said uh, it will validate and it will uh, try to stop the uh, routines once it is stopped then it will send the uh, positive responses uh, it would be uh, 0 4 if uh, routine is stopped and uh, if it is uh, suppose is there any problem um, if there is a length or something else then uh, uh, tester will get uh, negative response next one is the tribular request routine result uh, sub function id is 0 3 the tester uh, want to know the um, result of the particular actual actuator routines then this particular sub function can be used and uh, here you can see the uh, request from client to server and 31 and 03 and followed by the 2 byte or id and uh, then uh, as, uh, as i said uh, tcm will validate the preconditions all those stops then it will uh, um, check that module uh, um, whether the routine is running or if it is punished or the routine is finished error some so what are the what are the status and it will send the uh, uh, response to the um, testers say for example 710303 and uh, 2 byte RID uh, if it is uh, uh, 0 1 means routine is running if it is 0 4 means uh, routine is stopped already and uh, next one is tender response uh, uh, server to client uh, is there any uh, sequence error or something then um, uh, DCM will uh, validate and send uh, right response to the uh, uh, tester you can see the possible types of NRC of the routine controls so these are uh, we are already know what is the request out of range and uh, security access denied if if uh, um, OEM or customers neither or supplier uh, so it is, um, depends on the suppliers and OEM and uh, sub function not supported and the condition not correct suppose a precondition is not uh, satisfied then uh, yeah tester you will get this kind of uh, NRC and uh, there's a power train NRC like 81 engine speed and vehicle speed based on this you can refer the uh, data set you come to all those things and this is for some uh, erasing related some failures and uh, request sequence error uh, the, uh, like I said before uh, the um, um, st uh, start and stop and uh, uh, recovery routine should be in proper st uh, sequence say for example before you start if you request uh, uh, stop routine or triple routine then you will get 24 so always you start the routine then uh, then you can perform either uh, um, triple or then stop then uh, you will get the um, corresponding responses so do not uh, um, uh, request uh, uh, triple or uh, stop routine before uh, um, uh, start routine then you will get this kind of uh, negative uh, sequence error and uh, request and response um, here you can see the tester or client and uh, ECU so before you, uh, you start the routine it should be extended session or some customer specific session so we request 2 10 0 3 then response would be uh, 50 and 0 3 and the p2 and p2 star value you can see here that is access and the is p2 and p2 star value then uh, the tester request uh, start routine then uh, we will get uh, some response of uh, 71 and 01 followed by 2 byte rid and 01 uh, which means routine is running this is status this is also specific uh, it it's might, it's might change to 1 to 1 and uh, then after that if you request a tribular routine then then you will uh, then uh, 
tester i mean you will get the status of the uh, um, routine suppose you will be uh, suppose routine is running then you will get 0 1 and if it is stopped uh, then 0 2 suppose uh, um, routine is completed with some error then you will get here you, you can get 0 3 then if it is four means the routine is uh, uh, executed then you will get 0 4 and uh, here this one you can see the stop routine and if you want to uh, stop the particular action then you can uh, you can use this particular stop routine 3102 and followed by 2 bit or id then you will get some response like the like this so after that you will get response 04 one because uh, routine is stopped then you will get uh, response is 04 then again if you request uh, 3103 then you will get uh, responses 3103 and 2 bit rid and then you will get the status is uh, already routine is stopped so you will get responses 04 this is uh, uh, overall uh, very basics of routine control so routine control uh, which is uh, used, used for uh, many use cases uh, say for example uh, in car there are a lot of uh, um, HOTs are there say for example if you take it as a one throttle bar so um, tester want to um, uh, perform that uh, uh, perform that uh, throttle bar say for example uh, open 25 percent 30 percent and again 5 percent like that then this routine control can be used to uh, used for testing that uh, throttle bar and for and so many uh, uh, testing which is performed by the routine control so routine control is uh, very much used to, used for after the sales i mean end of line so which is uh, very much uh, used so most of the things we cannot cover in routine control because uh, uh, it's a very it's a OEM specific so it's a very basic understanding uh, hope this uh, routine control uh, will help you guys thanks for watching